guys, it is Charles on my way to Game Warriors Gaming for a Cause, and this is our top five. So this month's top five is all about the our favorite video game developers. So, uh, as always, this was voted on by our board of directors, and so uh, these are games that, again, are public developers that have uh, made some of the most beloved franchises to us. And I'm sure to many of you as well. So let's kick this off with number five, Bandai Namco. So Bandai Namco is known for Tekken, Soul Calibur, Ace Combat, and many anime games such as Dragon Ball and Naruto. And uh, actually, I think everyone on that thing that I just named off has been played on in our tournaments or on one of our shows. So, you know... Obviously, we were fans of Band uh, Namco. Also, they do games like Pac-Man and a few other stuff. So, number four brings up Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog, uh, you know, produces games for PlayStation. Uh, there are uh, games like Way of the Warrior, Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter. And of course, the Uncharted series and The Last of Us, uh, just to name a handful of theirs. And a real uh, well known for great stories um, and series. Uh, Wave of the Warrior was one that intrigued me when it first came out, but I never got a chance to play it. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, obviously, played a few of those. Uh, Jack and Daxter, uh, not as much. Um, the Uncharted series and Last of Us. Now, we got Last of Us 2 coming out sometime. And then, on to number three. Bungie. Yes. Bungie. As we all know, Bungie's known for, uh, Halo and Destiny franchises. They've also done uh, some other franchises such as Myth and Oni, um, but their their first person shooters uh, over the last couple of decades has been what they've known for. You know the Halo and Destiny. As a matter of fact, Halo was the uh, first person shooter franchise that brought me back into FPSs. You know games like Wolfenstein and uh, Quake and uh, Doom it got me into the first person shooters, but uh, after a while I'd taken a break. But then along comes Halo, and so number two should not be a surprise to anybody that has watched any of Almighty Wraith versus Netherrealm Studios. We all know that I'm a huge fan of Mortal Kombat. And um, have been since day one uh, playing it at the arcade. It was just it blew me away. Um, I'm a huge fighting game fan. Now, uh, of course, they they've done Mortal Kombat and Injustice, and you know they're a subsidiary of WB Games. So they've also done some uh, mobile games uh, based on the Batman Arkham series. Uh, Batman Arkham City Lockdown and even Batman Arkham Origins, the mobile versions were done by NetherRealm Studios. And if I believe if I remember correctly, WWE Immortals was also done by NetherRealm as well. Um, but as far as their you know, I mean obviously you see Scorpion up here in their logo, so you know they know where where their bread and butter is. You know, they know who brings home the bacon so and finally we come to our number one that as far as long as the 30 plus years of gaming that I I've done this company has been right there with me and that is Konami bringing us such lovely titles as Silent Hill Contra, uh, Frogger, I believe, uh, and then obviously Castlevania, 
and one of my favorite uh, franchises of all time, Metal Gear. Um, and obviously, they have their own code, you know, the up, up, down, down. Yeah, y'all know how it goes. So, um, you know, they've been there. So, uh, guys, that's all of our top five voted on. That list was huge. Uh, once I started going in there and creating it for us to, to vote on and everything. So, if you have one that did not make the list, or if there's a game put out by one of these great companies that I missed, uh, be sure to leave us a comment in the section below. And until next time, guys, this is Charles Almighty Wraith saying stay awesome. Hey, guys, this is Charles Almighty Wraith and Chris Lee we hope y'all enjoyed our video and everything. Be sure to um, check us out on all of our uh, other social media networks, such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. And also be sure to like and share the videos. And all right. Until next time, this is Almighty Wraith and... Saying stay awesome.